Hey everyone, Benji here. Welcome to my channel. Here, I talk about my journey in learning PCB design, electronics, and a bunch of other stuff through building synthesizer modules. In this video, I'd like to show you a module that I built based on a classic synth DIY circuit called the Baby 8. It's an 8-step sequencer that you can use to control pitch or pretty much anything that accepts control voltage. For my design, I decided to add toggle switches to each output so I can mute some beats if I want. You can manually advance the steps using a button or you can use a clock source like the one from a Europie and plug that into the clock input. There's also a reset button that lets you go back to the first beat manually. You can also use any gate signal into the reset jack to automate that. There's also a rotary switch that lets you select the number of steps from 1 to 8. There are two outputs for this module. The first one is the gate output, which I mentioned earlier is controlled by toggle switches. The CV output ranges from 0 to 9 volts. But with this design, you can probably use a 5 volt regulator instead of the 9 volt that I used to make the controls a little more finer. I like to use this one with my quantizer. Before I talk about the build, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Excel Valley. I've been using their cables ever since I've started with Eurorack. They sent over some angled cables which I think are really useful, especially when you have to travel with your Eurorack system. Their cables come in different colors and lengths. You can head over to their website, excelvalley.com. I'll add a link in the description to learn more about their products. Thank you very much, Excel Valley, for supporting my channel. Now, on with the build. Like with most of my prototypes, I used 3D printed panels for this one. This was the first panel. I designed it using my Euro Panel Maker library for OpenSCAD. This was the first prototype that I made before I decided to add the rotary switch. Because the panels were 3D printed, I just had to expand the original drawing in software and keep the old layout, which made the migration to a new panel pretty seamless. This build is completely point-to-point, -point, which I know looks crazy, but I like it a lot because it saves space and perf boards aren't really that cheap. I power it using JST connectors because they're easy to print and manage. I talked about the two power distribution systems that I have for my cases in a previous video. This was also the first time I used an 8-way SR16 rotary switch, which I think will carry over when I finally design a PCB for this module. As always, schematics and docs will be available on my website, benjaumodular.com. I'll add a link in the description. That would be all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.